Hi everyone, it's Carissa at sprinkledwithglitter.com and stay tuned to the end of this video because I do have some information on a giveaway over at my blog. I'm starting out with some dies from We Are Memory Keepers. I have the feathers die here and you can see it cuts several feathers at once. I'm also using a banner from the Banneret kit and the nesting circles dies. So I've cut out these feathers from some vellum and I've just double layered the vellum here so that I got two of every feather on there and I'm just pulling them out of the vellum here. And these are the feathers that I'm actually going to use even though it cuts more than that. So I'll set those aside and I'm going to start working on my card base. I'm using this nesting circle here and I'm just going to position it on my white Nina White cardstock and I'm going to use some post-it tape to hold it in place because I'm going to emboss this on the front of the card. I've brought in my Genius Cutting Platform and my Evolution Die Cut Tool, and I'll just set that on top with the blade up on the Genius Platform, and then I'm going to use this tan mat. This is from Spellbinders, and all of the products are linked on YouTube and also over at my blog. So I'll lay that on top, and then I'm going to use the B Cutting Mat on this as well, and just run that all through my Evolution Tool. Now this isn't cutting, this is actually embossing that circle into the card base there. So you can see that kind of cool embossed circle there. I'm going to take now that same die and I'm going to take some of this Eclipse Art Masking Tape and cut a circle out of this Eclipse Art Masking Tape and I'm going to use that as a mask on the front of my card. So I've cut that out and I'll just place it right over where that embossed circle is because I'm going to be doing some splattering or some ink splattering on the front of this. To protect the back of my card, I'm just using some post-it note tape here, and I'll just put a couple layers of that because it's only the one inch wide, and I want to make sure I don't get any on the back. I've brought in my Ranger cutting mat, and this is just a Ranger cutting mat that I've cut into quarters to make it a little more manageable for me. And I'm using the Mr. Huey's Mist in Gold and just using the tip of the spray nozzle just to kind of splatter it all over. And there's no rhyme or reason. So you can see here that when I pull off my mask, I have a perfectly splattered card and I can set that aside to dry. Now to add some color to my vellum, I'm just gonna use Copic markers and color on the back of these feathers. And I'm gonna use a kind of corally red, a blue, and I also used a pink here, but I didn't end up using that on the card. So I used the uncolored vellum as, as instead. And to add a little more crinkle or realistic effect, I'm just taking a wet baby wipe and wiping these, and this is just gonna give a little bit of crinkle to the edge, a little curl, which will make it a little more realistic. And then each one of these, I'll crease down the middle to give it that vein that real feathers have. Now, I brought in my banner here, and this is from the Banneret kit, and the Hello Sentiments from the Handwritten Sentiments stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. And I'm just going to stamp that on my banner with some navy ink. Now I thought I wanted to add a little bit more to these feathers. So I've just brought in different background stamps. This is um, Hero Arts Dot Background Stamp. And I'm just using the Delicata Golden Glitz ink. And I'm just going to ink up a portion of that background stamp and then put, this, put my feathers on that. This is the Lattice Background Stamp. It's from Studio Calico and Hero Arts. And then finally, the Envelope Pattern Background Stamp, which I used on the uncolored vellum as well. So now that I have all of my elements completed, I'm going to just position these on the front of the card using some foam adhesive. These are the We Are Memory Keepers Sticky Thumb Foam Adhesive. And I'm just going to use some tweezers to keep my hands out of the way. So you can see here that I've positioned those all on the front of the card just like I wanted. And you'll see in the close-ups that really curled edge of the feathers as well. So you can visit my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'm going to be giving away the nesting circles and also the feathers die that you saw me use in this video. So just head on over there. And don't forget, anytime you shop at shopwear.com, which is the We Are Memory Keepers online shopping site, you can use the coupon code GLITTER to save 20% off your order. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a fabulous day.